Today I have a product from XIVBA. This is the Magnetic Levitation Bluetooth Speaker. This system is actually two main components. We have the magnetic stand and the Bluetooth speaker. The stand required some minor assembly. I had to screw the legs onto the base. And if you're a fan of RGB lighting, XIVBA has you covered with this. They also include a transformer and you must use it with the stand in order for the levitation to work. Without it, the speaker just sticks to the top like that. If you have it plugged in, then you can guide it in and have it levitate. But it's hard to do if you're holding the stand, but it's like that. Once it's levitating, you can give it a gentle spin and because there is no friction, it will basically spin forever. Not forever, you still have air resistance, but it will spin for a long time. XIVBA says that the MDR is for Star Wars fans. I don't think this is officially licensed, and I haven't seen Star Wars since George Lucas sold it to Disney, but I, I think this does kind of look like Boba Fett. There is only one button on the speaker, and that is the power button. All track and volume adjustments must be done on the Bluetooth source. In addition to the power button, we have a USB-C charging port. They do give you the proper cable, but they don't give you a charging adapter. It would have been a good opportunity for them to include a charging adapter built into the transformer, but that didn't happen, or even on the base itself, but that didn't happen either. So you, you're on your own in that regard. The MDR contains a 1200 milliamp hour battery, and that'll take about two and a half hours to charge. They say you can expect about 10 hours of playback on that device, and I'd say that's about right. This speaker contains a two and a quarter inch driver. You're not going to get much bass, and you're not going to get much treble. This is strictly a mid-range experience, and you want to keep it at 50% volume or less. This speaker is for listening to music quietly at your desk. Would I recommend the MDR? Strictly as a speaker, no. Doesn't sound that good, it doesn't sound that loud, and compared to just about any of the competition, it would lose. But, doesn't sound that bad either, and if the concept of levitation is intriguing to you, go for it. It's, uh, it would make a good gift. It's an interesting conversation piece. It's a novelty, and novelties are fun. I'm going to give this speaker a three out of five star rating. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.